Good morning. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Bible study today. We're going to have a good time. Thank y'all for joining us today. Again, we thank you so much on this 21st day of September 2022. It is Bible study time. Yep. We're so thankful uh, for your joining us today. Uh, we're so happy, amen, for your presence. Again, uh, we're so thankful uh, that you are here. I need somebody to put out there the Bible study bus. Yep, we are excited about this study today um, as we prepare a man for this study. I'm trying to get my, my sounds together, but I just need y'all to know we're going to have a good time. Can somebody say glory to the king? Oh yeah, we're going to have a good day. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, Pastor Bridges is on again. Come on. Let's see here. We got Arilla. Good morning. We have Gloria Davis. Good morning. Georgia Lindo. Good morning. Teresa Mormon. Good morning. Sandra Davis. Good morning. Alethea Gatewood. What's up? Cuz, good morning. Dania Nia at work listening today. That's what I'm talking about on the bus. Bum, bum. I'm going to have to do it with my mouth today. Amen. This don't go and sound ain't acting right, but we're going to have a good time. Hey Amen. We'll do it like the old days. We used to try to get the 18, the truck driver to blow their horn. Bum, bum. We're going to still blow. Hey Amen. Uh, Teresa Mormon, good morning. And Byers, good morning. Uh, Faye, good morning to you. Hey Amen. Linda Faye Lou, hope you're still getting better. May God bless you. Jacqueline Payton is on the bus. Come on. Come on and ride with us. Amen. Uh, Teresa Mormon, uh, Trustee Bonner. Amen. Oh, man, we have a wonderful, wonderful group. Uh, Deaconess Crumwell, Deacon Crumwell, good morning. Sharon, glad to have you with us, Sharon Leach. God bless you. Amen. Diane is on the bus. Trustee Norris, good morning. To all of you on the bus, Miss Ernestine, uh, Miss Nancy Knuckles on the bus, Minnie Henderson and on the bus from Connecticut. Oh, boy, we got, oh, well, man, we're picking up passengers. We like Greyhound. We go coast to coast. Y'all don't hear me. We're going to have a good time. Come on, let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, thank you for allowing us to gather today. We thank you, O oh God, for your grace and mercy. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your love. We thank you for this privilege to study your word with other God believers and God for, for others who may be seeking today. God, let them see that you're real. We pray, O oh God, that faith will come by hearing, and they too, O oh God, will become saved and sanctified and filled with your Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for the things you brought us to and through this week. God, it's been an active week. So much has happened. But God, we thank you for still being God, for being on the throne. God, touch our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our hearts to believe as we prepare for this Bible study. Help us to grow. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Huh? Oh, I told you we're going to have a good time. Ray Ray, Vernon Leach, good morning to you. Karen, amen. Glad to have you with us. Karen, Patrick, Lakeisha, Logan, good morning to you and to others who may be on. Again, this screen is jumping and bumping. Amen. I may not be able to keep up with it like I want to, but please know that you are important to me. I need you to survive. Lily Crosby, good morning. And again, we're going to ask, we can ready to get this bus crunk up here. We got to get rolling today. Oh, we had a wonderful time last week. Amen. But, but this week is a new week. Amen. This week is a new week. Amen. We're going to crank our bus up. And we're going to ride. Bum, bum. Amen. Come on. Tell your neighbors. Tell your friend. Pastor Bridges on again. I need you to push that share arrow. Amen. I'm Definitely need you to push that share arrow. I need about 15 people to push that share arrow so we can get out into the electronic world to tell people about God. I need you to turn with me. Today our first stop is going to be 
Amen. Uh, John chapter 5. John chapter 5 verse 39. John chapter 5 verse 39. We looked last week at to the word of God. How it must dwell in us richly. And how we get the word in us. Oh, oh taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. We have to feed our soul. Uh, just as much as we feed our body. Your soul will last longer than your body. Amen. Your body will give out one day. Amen. And uh, we want you to know that the soul lives on beyond that. Amen. The spirit. Amen. The soul. The spirit. We call it a soul because it's still, it was connected to the body. The spirit, when it's connected to the body, is called the soul. Amen. Separate is just called the spirit. But when the, when, when the two come together, it's a living soul. Amen. Part, amen, a uh, uh, body, part, a uh, 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 spirit. Amen. But the soul lives on. The experiences in the body live on. That's why it's called soul. Can somebody, amen, put soul, S-O-U-L, on the screen. Amen. It deals with feelings. It deals with emotion. It deals with experience. And that's why we have soul music. Amen. They sing about what they're going through. They sing about what they're going through. They sing about what they've been through. Amen. Brother, brother. Uh, that's soul music. There's too many of you crying. Uh, mother, mother. Brother, brother, brother. So many of you dying. We must find a way. Huh? To bring some loving here today. Ooh. Huh? Y'all remember that? That's soul music. My Marvin Gaye singing about what, what, what they were going through. That's soul music. <coughs> Amen. And a lot of gospel songs deal with soul music. What we going through. Amen. It, it sings about the experience in the body. Good God Almighty. I hope this is helping somebody. Good morning, Rex. Good morning, Betty Copeland. Good morning, uh, Minister May Francis Lee Littlejohn. Good morning. Oh, boy, we're so thankful to have all of you here. Amen. And again, if we miss you, please don't hold that against me. This screen is jumping so fast. Georgia Lindo, I see y'all got soul. Amen. Amen. That, that soul, that what you feel. Nellie Wickerson, what you feel. Amen. And all genres of music, jazz, amen, uh, the blues, it, it, what they feel. They've been through it. Huh? They, 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 they sing about what? The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. They, 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 they sing about what, they, what they're going through. Huh? Uh, even in country music, they, they sing about what they're going through. Huh? They sing about what they're going through. Huh? They, they, that, that's all it is. It's about experience. And get the gun We got to talk here. John. I said chapter 5, verse 39, John, written by John, John, amen, wrote, amen, also, uh, 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 John wrote, wrote five books. He wrote the Gospel of John, he wrote 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and he also wrote the book of Revelation. Amen, my question is, how many books did John write? I want to see it on the screen, huh? Is there anybody here? Francis Drain, glad to have you with us again. Huh? Soul music down in my soul cries holy. Huh? I sung that last week. That soul music. This is another one about the soul. Yes, Lord. Y'all remember that? One? Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. That's soul music, huh? Completely, yes. My soul says yes. See, when the soul says yes, the body is more apt to say yes. Good God Almighty. <laughs> I hope that helps somebody. huh? Your flesh, amen, can do what your soul does not want to do. But, but your soul has to be stronger. Amen. 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 My mind is telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. Y'all don't heard that before, huh? <laughs> that, that, that's a battle going on. Huh? I don't see nothing wrong. Uh, see, that, that, that's the mind talking. But, but you got to let that, that soul, amen, match up with the word. 
Good God Almighty. I see it, Trina, Trina. <laughs> yes, yeah, down in my soul. It's down in there. So, so, it's got to be down in there. Good God Almighty. That's why the word has to dwell in your soul. How does the word get it down in your soul? That's what we're looking at on John chapter 5. Amen. Verse 39. I need everybody to read it with me. Come on. Every man, every boy, every girl. Loud as you can. What's the first word in verse 39? Hmm? What's the first word? I want you to say it out loud. Search. Let's read the whole verse together. It says... Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. Hmm. And they, and they are they which testify of me. Yeah, those words are written in red. You have eternal life when you can testify of Jesus. Those words are in red. When you begin to testify about what Jesus is doing instead of talking about the what, what uh, negatively about him, using his name in vain and talking about church folk and talking about the church in a negative way, mm -mm -mm -mm, your soul had not got right yet. <laughs> uh, good morning, Miss Rosa Allen. Glad to have you with us. Amen. On this wonderful morning. Amen. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Amen. Huh? Yeah, down on the inside. It says search the scriptures. That means you got to study the Bible. Amen. For in them. Amen. Now keep in mind that Jesus was talking here to those people that were to the Jews and those uh, that wanted to kill him. They, they, they were studying the Bible, but they weren't testifying of him. <laughs> See, everybody that studied the Bible don't testify of him. Amen. Everybody that, that remembers scripture don't testify of him. Everybody, amen, who, who holds up their Bible and wear a cross around their neck don't testify of him. Because the devil knows the scripture. <laughs> Remember when he talked to Eve, he, he, he threw the scripture at her? See, some people don't like hate God so much they want to learn about him to try to use his own word against him. <laughs> Huh? And that's why you got to be careful. Everybody who carry a Bible, amen, amen, are not saved. Huh? <laughs> that's why you got to be, that's why you got to listen to how they talk about God. Do they, do they lift God up? Are they trying to teach others about God? Or are they trying to deter you from going to church? Are they trying to deter you from paying your tithe? Are they trying to deter you from serving God? Are they trying to deter you from helping your neighbor? Are they trying to deter you from doing something good? Good morning, Andy Little John in New Jersey on the bus. We got Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Boston, May, Man, Virginia, all the way down North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida on the bus. Amen. And moving out west. We, we, come on. We, we riding in here today. Huh? Now, notice he said you got to search the scriptures. I need everybody that can put it on the, on the screen. Put on there, search the scriptures. Amen. Because what happens is a lot of people, uh, uh, they, they listen to people who think they, that they think know the Bible, but they don't know it. They know just enough of it to mess you up. They know just enough of it to make you think they do. They know just enough of it, amen, to, 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 to be in the conversation. They know just enough of it, amen, to impress those who don't know nothing at all. They know just enough of it. Amen. Uh, uh, the devil don't mind them studying it. But when faith kick in. And they really get saved. That's when the devil get mad at them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Amen. You got to search the scriptures. You, you, you got to look through it. Search. I kept on searching. Until I found the Lord. I kept on searching. That's an old song there. Until I found the Lord. I kept on searching. <laughs> until I found the Lord. Searching till I found the Lord. And then a few years ago they made it. They upgraded. I've been searching for a long time. I knew that it was something that I had to find. I've been searching. Y'all should have seen me. 
Huh? And, 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 yeah, we can search by, by, by other ways, but, but one way you will never go wrong is if you search the scriptures. Huh? <laughs> look in it. Look, look, search. Search. I searched and I searched and I just couldn't find my way. Hey, Tamika, oh, you know, we got your room for you on the bus. Huh? Come on. Yeah. We got to, we searched the script. Come on, let's let's read on verse 40. We got to get out of here. It said, and and ye will not come to me that ye might have life. See that? See, God know everybody who read the Bible are not reading uh, 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 for for growth. They're not reading for knowledge. They're not reading for information. They're not reading for wisdom. They're not w reading to learn. They're not reading to feed their soul. Some of them are reading. Amen. But they're reading. Uh, their intent is wrong. <laughs> huh? And I thank God. God is the only one who knows their intent. Amen. But but when they get right with God. And, 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 and the right faith kicks in. And they become a believer. And begin to testify of him. As in verse 39. Instead of tear him down. <laughs> Huh? Some people uh, 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 know just enough of the Bible to talk bad about God. They're always questioning God. They, they're always questioning preachers. And, 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 they always, and then when times happen and things happen in their life, guess who they run to for help? <laughs> but you got to help them. You, you got to be willing to help them. You got to be able to help your enemy. You got to be able to teach your enemy. Amen. And lots of times, those are the same people that talk about you are the same ones that God's going to use to make to come back to you for help when because they know they did you wrong. <laughs> that's what I love about God. So that's why you don't have to worry when people lying and talking about you. Amen. When they get right, they'll stop talking bad about the Bible. Amen. And they'll start talking good. That's why it's the good news. <laughs> yeah, they always want to talk about the Bible, but they always got something negative to say. About the church, negative about the believers in the church, about what the church is doing and what the church can't do, instead of uh, uh, praying and understanding that God can use anybody. <laughs> Amen. I, I, last time I checked my Bible, God saved sinners to work for Him. <laughs> Last time I checked, amen, God can change anybody. Last time I checked, amen, he changed fishermen. Last time I checked, he changed tax collectors. The last time I checked, he, he, he changed shepherds and herdsmen. The last time I checked, amen, he, he found idolaters and changed them. Is, is this happening to anybody? <laughs> and yes, he changed you and me. He'll do it. Amen, he'll do it. He will do it. Tariqa Rashford, good morning to you. Amen. To all of you again for joining us, we thank you. Amen. I'm so glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Huh? Down in my soul. Huh? Down in my soul. Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. And they believed the heart was the soul. The old folk. So that's why you hear a lot about the heart and the soul. Amen. God bless you. We got to move on. Bus getting ready to move. I need y'all to sit down. Janine, I need you to be my bus monitor. Amen. Connie was my bus monitor out there in Baymont, Texas, Baytown, Texas, but I don't know if she on here today. So I need some. I need some bus monitors. I need everybody to sit down. So we getting ready to move. Y'all, everybody seated. Everybody seated. We're moving to Second Timothy, chapter three. And I got verse 15. Amen. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. Can you meet me there? Huh? The bus is moving. Bum, bum. Amen. I need, I need everybody to move with me. We're moving today. We're going to try to cover some scriptures today. Amen. 2 Timothy 3. Amen. Amen. Verse 15. Amen. This is very important. You got to know the scripture. Amen. The scriptures. Yes. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are commenting. I see you. I see you. Uh, really, Reverend Ron Williams, glad to have you with us. Amen. Yeah. You can use anybody. I'll see you there, uh, uh, Minister Surratt. He'll do it. I'm just a nobody. They're trying to tell everybody about somebody who can say. Anybody. 
<laughs> that, 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 that's what he'll do. That's what he'll do. He'll change it. See, see, and then you, you'll testify of him. See, that's how you know. You, you just can't. That's why you got to listen to folk. Are they talking good about the preacher or they always got something negative to say? Huh? Are they talking good about the church or they always got something negative to say? If they can't testify of his goodness, they're they, 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 they not right. Ain't nobody perfect, but God didn't call them to judge us. God going to be our judge. <laughs> huh? God just needs you to be a witness. I need somebody to put on the screen. Stop being a judge and start being a witness. If you're a witness, can you, they, they go on the witness stand to testify. <laughs> huh? You go down to the store to testify. You, you go down to the grocery store to testify. You go to the ball game to, to testify. You, you get gas to testify. You, you live to testify. But everywhere you go, you only got something and you tearing down the church instead of building it up. Huh? <laughs> See, that's how you can tell where folk are. Amen. They can smile and do all they want to do, but let's listen to what they say. Listen, listen. Are they are, are, are they are they are they a supporter of Christ? Amen. Or are they one trying to sabotage Christ? <laughs> That's what you got to listen for. See, the ones who support. Amen. We, we we know who we are. The ones who sabotage. A lot of time we know who they are. <laughs> You know who you're dealing with. Tell, I need somebody to put on the screen. You, you got to listen. You got to listen to them. I, I see some amens on the screen. Tammy Feldman, glad to have you with us, this Tammy. Amen. Yeah, we just need somebody ought to testify. I can't sing it like Annette. Oh, somebody ought to testify. Stop trying to be a judge. For God I live and for God I die. Somebody ought to testify. <laughs> huh? that, that's what he needs us to do. Stop. And, and, and that's how you can know uh, uh, the, the evil in somebody's heart. Amen. Not, 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 not by them carrying a Bible. Not by them being in church attendance. No. No. But by them being there. But yet still being counteractive to the work of the God. They, they cannot participate. They can't do nothing but can do everything else. But, but can't go to church. Can't help the church. But go everywhere. Go all over the world. And can't come to church. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Huh? I, I just need you to think about that. Oh, you good, Sonora. We glad to have you, my friend. You good. You right on time. You right on time. Miss McCann, I know you can and I know you will. Huh? Stop being a judge and be a witness. A dot on the bus. We're rolling. Huh? That's why you got to listen to folk what they say. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're getting mad about good things. Do you, do you get mad about good things? Good God and get happy about bad things. That's how you know. That's how you know. Good God Almighty. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> and always, they don't never do nothing wrong. But when they really look at their own life, their life's all jacked up. But then they want to find one, 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 one speck in your eye. And when they got a whole uh, 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 sequoia tree in theirs, that's the biggest tree that ever is. <laughs> the big beam in their eye, and they, but they can't. They always want to talk about our specs, huh? Huh? Somebody ought to testify. If, if you search the scriptures and and talk about him, Lula Watts, glad to have you. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello. Yeah, glad to have you with us. Boy, y'all are awesome today, man. We got to get out of here. Second Timothy three. I said fifteen. Come on, I need everybody reading there. Everybody, come on. Come on, we're searching the scriptures. I need everybody reading. Come on. It says, from that and that from a child, thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. This kind of matter. Even a child can understand the scriptures. That's why the, the Bible says you got to come as a child. Uh, when, when what that means, a child comes to be taught. A child don't come to teach. <laughs> See, some people, when they first get saved, they think they know more than the preacher. 
So they think they know more than the, 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 uh, uh, the moderator. They think they know more than the state president. They think they know more than the national president. They think they know more uh, than the past emeritus. <laughs> but all of us have to come as little children and come to be taught. Huh? So we have to be taught. He, he said, teach. first thing he told his disciples to do is follow me. They had to get taught. And, and, and if you know too much to get taught, you, uh, you, you need to pray. If you, if, if you can't be taught, amen, we, we need to lay hands on you. If, if you know too much to be taught, amen, uh, uh, I'm telling you, uh, we're going to pray for you anyhow. <laughs> huh? Because all of us can learn something. I learned something the other day from my little cousin who's in the first, I think she's in the first grade now. She told me something, and, and I, I never thought about it this way, but she taught me something. What's up, Quentin? Glad to have you with us, brother. Hey, man, down there in Georgia by way of Gabney, South Carolina. Glad to have you, Quentin. Hey, Amen. She taught me something. I, she said, stars are in the sky. I said, what stars? She said, in the sky. She said, stars also in the ocean. I looked at her. She said, yes, there are starfish in the ocean. I looked at that little girl, just a little kindergarten. And I'm telling you, you can learn stuff from a child if you listen to them. Amen. And if you listen to them, they'll listen to you. Good God Almighty. I'm just telling you what happened to me. You, got to, you can learn from anybody. You can learn what to do or you can learn what not to do. Good God. I need somebody to put that on the screen. Please put that on the screen. That's how you have to do it. Sometimes you can learn what to do. And sometime from that person that comes your way, you learn what not to do. It's still learning. <laughs> That's what makes wisdom. Good God. Huh? Uh, we got to read this one more time. 2 Timothy uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 15. I need you to highlight this if you got a highlighter. I hope that I need about I need about 15 people to push that share arrow. I need y'all to push that share arrow. We got to get this thing out there. Huh? We got to get it out there. Thank you, Miss Gloria Davis, who is a educator who worked in uh, uh, elementary education for for decades. You can learn from a child. Hmm? And one of the most important things, not one of the most important, but one of the most important lessons I learned as a pastor was when I was trying to, to help uh, uh, my son learn how to tie his shoe, that it took another young child. In, in, in his uh, Sunday school class that showed him a different way than I was doing it. How many know there are many ways to tie a shoe? <laughs> and sometimes children can teach other children. Good kind of mind. That's all I'm saying. Did, did that help anybody right there? <laughs> I need somebody to put on the screen is that, that you can learn from the old and you can learn from the young. Yeah, thank you, Brother Quentin. You can learn what to do and learn what not to do. Good kind of mind. Um, I've learned uh, ooh, good God, from theologians. I've learned from professors. And I've learned from my parents. I've learned from my pastors and friends that are preaching now. And I've learned from coaches, head coaches and position coaches. I've learned from trainers and from spectators. I've learned from boosters. And from Chile, Chile to gonna cheer for you no matter how bad you lose, huh? <laughs> you can learn something from a Chile, huh? And I also learned when it get cold, they'll put on a sweatsuit. <laughs> yes, they will. I learned something. I tell you, you can learn. You can learn all over. You can learn every day. You can learn. Amen. You can learn. You can learn. You can learn. Amen. I've learned from. Amen. All walks of life, huh? <laughs> I learned some of them with a baby bottle. I learned from some of them with a liquor bottle. <laughs> uh, 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 huh? What? Yeah, I said it. You can learn a lot from folk if you want to be taught, if you want to learn, if you want to grow, if you want to expand your wisdom. Especially if you're in the church. You got to learn from all walks of life. If you're going to be a fisherman of men, you can't fish, amen, people out of the pond of trouble when you don't want to be around people in trouble. You, 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 you can't fish 
them because you think you're too high than them. And I found something about fishing is you got to go to their pond to catch them. Good God. Is this helping anybody? Huh? <laughs> That's why Jesus was at the well. He, he wouldn't have caught that fish if he wasn't at the well. Mm -mm -mm. That's why he went by the Sea of Galilee. He wouldn't have caught those fishermen if he wasn't by the Sea of Galilee. Ah, yes. He wouldn't have caught those killers if he wouldn't have met them in Gethsemane. Uh, you got to go where they are. It, it, it this happened to anybody? He wouldn't have called that thief on the cross if he wasn't on one himself. <laughs> huh? Are y'all listening to me? See, sometimes God will have us to help folk, but but we we, we don't want to go down there. We can't talk to them. Or I don't want them to approach me. I don't want to be seen in public talking to them. And everybody who talk to you in public, amen, everybody that watches you, because everybody that watching you, some of them lie on you. They don't know what the conversation was about. They don't know what type of, 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 of gospel you planted in them. They don't know what kind of gospel seeds you planted. But oh, they got a rumor in the story for it. If certain people see it with certain people in certain places. I'm, I'm just telling you how this thing works. Edgar Scott, I'll see you there. Huh? Is this happening to anybody? Huh? Is, is this happening? Because we got to search the scriptures. Verse 15, come on, let's read it one more time. We got to get out of here. We got one more two stops to make. It said, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. He, he, uh, Paul was talking to Timothy. He said, Timothy, you, you, it, it, your grandmother, amen, and, and your mother, Eunice, amen, and Lois, they, they, they've been teaching you these scriptures. And that's why I'll tell you, the, one of the best things you can ever do is teach your child about God. Miss T. Cora, glad to have you with us. I hope this is helping somebody. Huh? I hope it's that Miss Red Fern. Glad to have you with us. Huh? Is this helping you? That's all I want to know. Is, is this giving you strength? It'll give you strength. The blood that Jesus shed for me. <laughs> and he shed it for you way back. Oh, Calvary. <laughs> See, you got to learn about that blood. You got to be taught about it. Mm -hmm. You got to be taught about where it was and, 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 and the different places of his body he was bleeding from. Oh, the blood. And when you learn about it, that gives me strength. Huh? It'll give you strength if you believe it. From day on oh my good days and day and my bad days. It will never lose. <laughs> See, when you learn that, you can make it through it. It will never lose. Huh? He got blood. The Bible said, oh, come, let us reason together. Amen. Though your sins be as scarlet, they should be white as snow. Though they be red like Clemson, they should be like wool. It will never lose. It'll wash you. It'll clean you. It'll saturate you. Huh? It, 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 it'll disinfect. Oh, it will never lose. <laughs> it's power. I know it won't lose its power because it's Jesus' blood. It reaches. <laughs> How y'all with me? From the highest mountain, God Almighty, reach all the way to the top, huh? It reaches to the lowest valley. See, if you search the scriptures, you'll find all of that in there. The blood that gives me strength from day to day, huh? It will never lose its power. <laughs> huh? You got to read that Bible. Huh? You got to study that word. You got to believe the word. Oh, your favorite song. God bless you. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to have to put that in the Sunday lineup for you. Huh? Oh, Lord. He was talking to Timothy. He said, Timothy, it was good for you back then. But the older you get, the more you're going to need. It was good for you then, but the more devils you meet, you're going to need more scripture. Uh, it was good for you back then, but now you're a leader now. You're a pastor. You're going to need the scripture. 
And these things will remind us of God's glory and his goodness. Uh, uh, mm, it will. <laughs> of his glory and his goodness. I need about two people to put that on the screen. We got to get on out of here. His glory and his goodness. Trusty who we're glad to have you with us. He's able. <laughs> we got to go. We got a couple of more stops to make and we got to get out of here. Somebody say a few more stops to make. <laughs> we got a few more stops to make. We got to ride. We got to ride. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Meet me there. New Testament. Hebrews 4 verse 12. Will you meet me there? Some of y'all done beat me there. Mm -hmm. Meet me there. Hebrews 4. But we're talking about the word today. You got to study. You got to have them scriptures. Search the scriptures. I remember when I saw that verse many years ago. Amen. That, that's what it means by meditate day and night. And sometimes you can read something over here that will remind you of a story in the Old Testament. Or in, in another section of the Bible that it gives you more better understanding. Hmm? It, it'll do it. I'm telling you this. We'll, we'll, it's enough examples in the Bible. <laughs> it's enough examples in there. It's enough examples in there. I said there are a lot of examples in the Bible. Amen. But I remember there was a time, seemed like I, uh, growing up, you only heard about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever went through that type of phase in, in your particular uh, search of the scriptures. But there's more stories in that, in the Bible, than those two. There's more stories in the Bible, amen, than uh, Adam and Eve. There are more stories than just Noah's ark. <laughs> there's more stories in, than just, the, than just the, the Christmas story. There's a lot of stories. That, and if you read it, amen, it, it's real. It's real. These places are real. These cities are real. These are real places. But a lot of people like to read fiction in uh, places that don't exist. Amen. I, 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 I know entertainment and I like to be entertained. Amen. But when it comes down to spiritual things, give me some true books to read. Give me some fact. Give me some Bible. Amen. Give me something that's going to help me. Amen. Down the road. Give me something that's going to help me help somebody else down the road. Amen. And I pray that somebody is getting something from the scriptures that's going to help me down the road. Huh? <laughs> See, people who love the Bible love to hear other people talk about the Bible too. Amen. Amen. Good preachers like good preaching. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Huh? Because it helps us to grow. I need somebody to put on the screen iron sharp as iron. We got to get out of here. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Are you there? Amen. Hebrews 4, books. Come on. Let's read it together. I, 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 are you with me, Teresa? Sonora, you reading with me? Huh? I just want to check and make sure. Annie, Nancy, Sarah, Nora, Glory, Amen, Trusty Bonner, Danielle, Minnie, Diane, are y'all with me? Francis, Lula, y'all with me? Trustee Hood, all the trustees and deacons are on here. You ready? Brother Mitch, you ready? Huh? All right, let's read it then. Verse 12, it says, For the word of God is quick. And powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. Good God Almighty. Y'all, I talked about that, right? And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, the word, the word. The word sometimes, I told you it'll correct sometimes. It's used for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. We, we read about that. That's what the word of God is good for. And I think that's 1 Timothy 3 and 16. It's good for doctrine. That means it's information you can trust and count on and build your faith upon. For reproof, that means it, it, it will, amen, it, it's, sometimes it's, 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 it's tough. Amen. Sometimes it's, it's, it, it might seem harsh, but, 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 but it's going to help you. 
Amen. Sometimes it goes against what you're doing. And I found out that's when a lot of people get mad at the preacher. They get mad at the church. They get mad at mom and daddy. They get mad at the policeman. They get mad at those in authority that try to get them to correct something. You can't tell me nothing. You, 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 you need to get out of my face. You need, you, you, need to, you need to do this yourself. You might be right. But this is for you. This is going to help you. And when people get mad because you're trying to tell them what thus says the Lord. Amen. They don't have a problem with me. They got a problem with God. They don't have a problem with you. They got a problem with God. They don't have a problem with with the, uh, 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 with with their mother or their father or, or those in authority. They got a problem with God. Amen. You remember when they wanted a king in Israel, and, and, and they was talking to the prophet, and he said they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they're not mad at you. Uh, they refuse God, especially when you're trying to tell them a godly way. So, 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 don't let that thing bother you. Amen. All right, I'll see y'all with me. Amen. All right, I like that. I like that. But that's why I love this interactive Bible study. Terry, what's up, cuz? Amen. This is interactive Bible study. It, it's it helps. Us. It's like fertilizer. It's like cheerleading. It's like encouragement because sometimes we're around people uh, that's judge, jury, and executioner. But we need people who are all witnesses to, to, to let's help each other on this road to glory. Huh? We got to help each other on this road to glory. That's all I'm talking about. I see you, Ray Ray. All right, Sonora. I see you there, Diane. And and everybody in shop man and, and brother Sean, I'll see you, man. And and that's what and that's why some people get mad. That's why the, the sermon Sunday was so important. Don't let the devil confuse you. He'll try to confuse you. He'll try to make you think wrong is right. <laughs> Just because it's a new law on the book don't mean it's right with God. Just because they voted to pass it don't mean it's gonna pass in God's eye. So that's why it's very important. Politics is one thing, uh, uh, but, but the power of God is another thing. <laughs> huh? So that's why we it's, 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 a, it's a thin line. That's why this verse is so important here, right here. Hebrews, amen, uh, uh, 4 and 12. It said, for the word of God is, is, is one, two, three. It's three things there in that first part. Verse verse 12. I want you to put them on the screen. I already read it, but I want you to put it on the screen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, Teresa. I need the prayers. I need the prayers because, amen, when you're trying to hold up the light of Christ, God Almighty, how many know that the devil will get mad at you? <laughs> but you got to serve on anyhow because please know that they will, the Bible said, despitefully. Amen. And say all manner of evil against you falsely. Remember a while ago we read that they cannot testify of his goodness. They read their Bible, but they always got something bad to say. Huh? <laughs> You'll find them in every level of church. Thank you, Teresa. It's quick. It's powerful. And it's sharper. That, that's why I need the scripture. It's quicker than now. It's sooner than later. Huh? It's quicker. Light travels at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. Are, are you with me? I didn't say feet. I said miles. 186,000 miles per second. Amen. At 80 miles per hour, it takes 80. It takes one hour to go 80 miles if you're going 80 miles per hour. But I said the word of sharp, uh, 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 word of God is uh, faster than light. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Whew. That's a mighty long way. Huh? But when you need God, he's right there just like that. When you need God, oh, he's right there just like that. Are y'all with me? <laughs> huh? Quicker than now, sooner than later. I heard that said one time many long years ago. He's quick. And then it said he's powerful. Huh? Powerful. A bulldozer is powerful, but it's slow. <laughs> Y'all with me? Huh? A tractor is powerful, but it's slow. An elephant is powerful, but it's slow. Oh, but not God. God, oh, quick and powerful. Huh? Huh? Y'all don't hear me. Huh? Before you realize it, you're on your back. <laughs> you remember at the cross he said... That they're coming to kill you. And he said, uh, 
they don't have power to. But uh, I have power to lay it down. Um, and I got power to raise it up. <laughs> huh? And he said, uh, when they came, he could have knocked all of them down. Hmm? But he didn't knock. He, and one occasion, he did knock them down when they came to get him. But he didn't hurt them. He just showed them a little power he had. Huh? Thank you, Sonora. I'll see you there. Tanita, I'll see you there. Quick, powerful. And then he said, sharper. Sharp. Sharper than a two edged sword. Uh, uh, one, uh, a sword that normally have the edge on the bottom. Huh? When you when you cut, that's why they cut down with your knife. When you when you cut cake, you cut down. I haven't seen nobody get up under the cake plate and cut up. Yet they cut down the, the blade on the bottom of the blade. But but God, the word is a two edged sword. It, it's got a blade on the top and a blade on the bottom. Good call him money. Huh? Uh, he don't have to pull out a man to cut or make another cut. He just move where he wants. The word, when it gets in there, when you search the scriptures and, and let it dwell richly in you, it'll cut out the evil thoughts of the heart. It'll cut out the bad attitude. It'll cut out that aggressive nature. It'll cut out that evil influence. It'll cut out those things. Once it goes and the blood flows through you and the word flows through you, those hands that used to steal now, instead of taking something, it'll bring something. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Y'all with me? Y'all listening here? The, that mouth that used to always be, 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 be quick, amen, with a comeback and a letdown will, will begin to start giving compliments and encouragement. Y'all don't hear me? It, it'll, cut, it'll cut it out. Just! Like the USDA trim the fat off a good steak. The, 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 the word of God will trim the evilness out of our lives. If you let it in. In your ears. Amen. In your mind. In your heart. Make, in your mouth. Take it in. Begin to speak it. Huh? It, 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 it'll do spiritual development on the end. Spiritual... Surgery on the inside. Good God. Is this helping somebody here? That's why the devil don't want you to read. That's why you fall asleep every time you open your Bible. That's why, amen, every time you read, you don't remember. Because the devil don't want you to let it dwell richly in you. To help you to grow. The devil don't mind you studying, but when you begin remembering. <laughs> the, the devil don't mind you studying but when you begin to teach somebody else the devil don't mind you studying but when you begin to apply it and understand if you do certain things God will bless you because he said he would that's when you're moving to a new level of spiritual growth huh? yeah it's not about your attendance it's not about how much but, but it's about how you grow he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that shall bear fruit in the season and his leaves shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Good God Almighty. That's what the word will do for your soul. Huh? It'll do for you. Patricia Harris, good morning to you. Glad to have you with us. Yes, we're glad to have you with us. Kimberly Curtis, glad to have you with us in the Reverend BD if you're watching. Glad to have you with us, my friend. Boy, I'm so excited. Uh, y'all are y'all happy like I am? Hey Amen. We got to get out of here. We got a few more stops. It said the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. Piercing. Somebody say piercing. See, see, sometimes the word has to get in, it appears. Anybody ever had your ears pierced? I know some people have their nose pierced, the tongue pierced. A man has other parts of the body pierced, the navel. And other places I'm not going to talk about now. But they have pistons all over. But that's what the word of God will do. The, the word of God, amen, will pierce you. Yeah, it, 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 it's in there. And, and when it pears, amen, it, it, it's a, a piercing is done so that something else can get there. You put a piercing in your ear so you can get an earring. Huh? See, that's the difference between a piercing and a stabbing. <laughs> See, the devil, he, he'll stab you with his, with, with his darts. <laughs> you remember the Bible said the devil have darts? Amen. To quench the fiery darts of the devil. See, they make holes too, but they're not replaced with nothing. They're just making holes to stop you. 
holds to damage you, but 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 the word of God pierces. Amen. It, 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 it hits an area so you can get the word in that area to fill it and replace it with God. Good God. Is this helping somebody here? I'm trying to help you grow. Amen. You, you, you got the right approach, but you got to grow. Amen. You can impact a lot of people, but you got to grow. You, you, can, you can't help people talking the way you talk. You can't help people walking the way you walk. You can't help people doing the things you do. You got to transform by the renewing of your mind and change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. <laughs> you got to be changed, Joni. Good morning. Huh? Yeah, y'all with me here. Y'all, y'all, I, I see a few comments. I see you there. Oh, Lord. Hoo-wee. 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 <laughs> Boy, there's some good lesson in here today. It piercing, uh, even to the dividing of the soul and spirit. See, when the word get in there, amen, at, at that last part said, it, it knows what the thoughts and intents of the heart is. And that's why sometimes people don't like to hear preaching because when they hear preaching or hear gospel music or remember what mom and daddy said, they are reminded always to do right. But when they don't hear it or be away from gospel music or be away from their Bible, they're more apt to fall back into that old rut in the old way of living. Which uh, uh, is referred to backsliding. Huh? Huh? Instead of bouncing back, they end up backsliding. <laughs> you with me? Is this helping somebody? So it's a constant reminder to help us be the best Christian, a witness we can be, and stop being judges. Huh? Oh, boy, I know it's just, this lesson is tough. But, 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 but it'll, it'll help you be a better you. <laughs> huh? Uh, other, uh, uh, oh, come on, we got one more stop. We got to get out of here. Deuteronomy 6. Deuteronomy 6. Come on, we got to move the bus. Got to move the bus and we got to get out of here. Deuteronomy 6. Old Testament. Middle front. Huh? Deuteronomy 6. Y'all sitting down. I didn't want to get a ticket. Thank you so much. Boy, you're growing. You're growing, Teresa. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much, Teresa. I, I appreciate that. That's what we work for. For you, for you to grow. And let me tell you something. I grow too. When you're helping others grow, you grow yourself. When you help teaching your children right, guess what? You're learning too. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for being a part of my spiritual development. You are helping me grow, every one of you. Amen. And those who are not coming, you helping me grow too. You, you're still on this lesson. You're still learning. You're helping somebody else. Amen. And that's how we do. Amen. We grow. We got to grow. Man, you got to search the scriptures. And that's why, why we always flip over here and flip over there. We're searching the scriptures. I just don't stay at one scripture the whole time. And sometime, one, uh, last week we was on one scripture the whole lesson. But, but, but that was for that particular lesson. But we got to keep searching the scriptures. Amen. Looking here and looking there. Looking everywhere. Amen. So that we can grow. Amen. Come on. We got to get out of here. I need everybody right there. Deuteronomy 6 verse 6. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 6. Oh, y'all are good. God bless you. Glad you can make it. Glad you can make it. Yeah, glad you can make it. Yeah, that's why studying is so important. And man, and that's why Jesus studied. Jesus meditated. Jesus taught. And he was a, a, a teacher. Amen. Teaching is a part of spiritual development, of growth, of Christianity. Amen. Of being a better witness or a Christian for the Lord, a better servant. You got to know how to serve, when to serve, what not to serve. Amen. All of these things are important and vital. Amen. To the mission. 
amen, to the, what God has for you, the blessings he has for you, amen, lots of times you won't get them until you grow and get to a certain level, and when you get there, certain things will happen, amen, amen, what helps you, helps you on your first year of being a Christian is different than your 40th year of being a Christian, hopefully by then you would have learned some things and grown and matured, amen, so you can reach higher heights and new plateaus, Amen. You should be moving farther. The farther you go, the better you feel. You're moving up Zion here. Come on. I need you at Deuteronomy 6 and 6. Come on. Well, I need everybody reading. Men, boy, girl. Amen. Oh, come on. Woman, I, we need you all. Come on. And these words. And these words. Y'all see that? Words. Got an S on it. Which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Amen. Th th that's what it got to be. And we're going to end on that today. And we're going to start right there the next time. Deuteronomy 6 and 6. That's going to be our start next Wednesday on the Bible study. But these words which I command you shall be in your heart. Amen. And when you search them and they become a part of you. Amen. You don't have to think. You already know thou shalt not steal. You, you automatic know uh, what we should and should not do. Amen. But temptation will come. and But that helps us to win. Amen. Uh, uh, that when, when the next temptation come by comparing the temptation to what God said about it. Amen. God bless you. Boy, we had a good time. I love you. I love all of you. Thank you for sharing with us. And I need about, about, I need about eight people to push that share right now so that this Bible study will be out there for your family and friends so you, they can get this. Amen. So that you can grow. So you can help them to grow. And a lot of things. They won't get that promotion on their job. Until a lot of them grow spiritually. Amen. Because they're not able to handle it. Amen. They'll handle it worldly. And they won't keep it long. Amen. That's why a lot of people make mistakes. And they just bounce through life. Amen. They bounce through life like, like a ball. Amen. They just keep bouncing. There's, there's a constant bouncing. Like a kangaroo. They're constantly jumping from here to there. But they will never find a place to walk. Amen. Until they grow and understand. The Bible says walk by faith and not by sight. Not jump <laughs> by faith and, and jump by sight. No, he said walk. Y'all with me? <laughs> Is this helping somebody? <laughs> God bless you. Oh, I thank you, Miss Knuckles. May God bless you and your family. Amen. Thank you, Brother Rex, for sharing, man. I know you got friends you care about, and I do too. And that's why we're on this Bible study. Amen. Trying to help each other. Thank you so much. Amen. Pastor Bridges, love you all. I tell Brother Mom that you said hello. Thank you so much, man. Mama had a birthday Sunday, man. Last Sunday, she turned 80 years old. So y'all pray for us. Mama getting older. We all getting older. Amen. And I just pray that you all just keep trusting the Lord. Pray. Amen. For my friend Shirley Smith. She is hospitalized in Gaffney. Uh, Shirley Smith, we're praying for you. And may God bless you. Press B Perkins. Amen. Our classmate and friend uh, is having some difficult days. She's been uh, up and down. Amen. And has some episodes. Amen. We're praying for you, Press. Keep the faith. I hope you're watching today. Amen. Uh, Steve Kemp, my friend, Bull Rush. Amen. Still hospitalized in Charlotte. He's having some difficult moments. Amen. We're praying for you, Bull. God bless you, man. Also for, amen, my friend Rashid, amen, Rashid Johnson, a young friend of mine. He, he, he's a young man, I think 14 years old, amen. Uh, uh, man, we're praying for you. Keep the faith to the whole Hemphill and Johnson family. We're praying God can do it, amen. Keep trusting him, amen. There's a process, but you, you got to go through it. May God bless you and strengthen you, amen, each and every day, each and every way, amen. Michaela Tate. Keep her in your prayers. Uh, again, injured in an auto accident. Uh, broke a jaw. Broke some bones in the back. Amen. And I think shoulders area. Uh, she's going to rehab. Going to have to learn how to walk again. But God is there. He'll walk with you each and every day. Walk with me, Lord. Oh, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. While I'm on this tedious journey I want Jesus to walk with me and you and your family and your friends every day of your life <laughs> that's what I want him to do to keep walking with you remember uh, man Shea Good amen again to her and Rick and 
Tedrick, may God bless you, um, uh, to uh, uh, D.K. Ross, we're praying for your brother, and also for Wesley Williams. Again, we're, we're praying for you in the High Point area. We're praying for you, man. Um, a couple of announcements we got to get out of here. Remember, uh, on Saturday at 3 p.m., funeral service will be here for Corey Gist. This is the grandmother of our very own uh, Minister Terrence Gist and his wonderful family. Funeral service will be held at the uh, J.W. Woodward Mortuary in Spartanburg, Saturday at 3. Bishop James Wiley Jr., amen, his services will be held this weekend, I do believe. Don't have any particulars yet, but be, please be aware and keep your eyes and ears open as we remember his family also in prayer. Remember uh, the Reverend Golden. He has a cousin that's going to be funeralized Saturday morning in Greenville. We're praying much for them. Amen. Also remember, amen, that this is Baptist Week. Amen. For Thinking the Mountain Baptist Association, where yours truly is the moderator. And uh, again, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience serving you as your moderator and helping through these years. Good. Hey, Paul, how you doing, man? God bless you. And uh, glad to have you with us. Uh, it's been wonderful serving with uh, Moderator Ray and Moderator Golden. Amen. And each and every executive to my friend, Miss Terry, our clerk. Amen. To Dr. Rayfield Hamrick, our treasurer. And to assistant uh, cl uh, clerk, uh, Miss Dr. Bertha Harris. It's been a blessing. Amen. Working with you. And I, mean, I want to thank my family. Amen. And, and my friends and the Concord Baptist. Amen. Sunday will be our last day. Amen. As moderator, and we will help transition, amen, the new uh, leadership into position. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for every prayer, for everything you've done, amen, to help us on our glory. And I also want to thank, amen, the previous moderators, amen, Rector and uh, Makelson, amen. And uh, we too would join the ranks, amen, of the previous moderators, and Dr. Sanders also, and also uh, Dr. Smith. Amen. So again, we thank you for being who you are. Be a witness. Stop being a judge. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for who you are, for what you've done, for your many blessings, for your darling son, Jesus. We thank you for this lesson today and pray, oh God, that as it is shared, oh God, as it is shared, amen, by believers, God, that we will continue to search the scriptures and grow and understand, God, that your ways are, 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 are not our ways, but your ways are above our ways. God, that your ways are different from the worldly ways. And God, allow us to see that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you so very much. We thank you, God, for this lesson today. Let it be hid in our heart that it will uh, uh, be quick and powerful and sharper and that it will pierce even to the dividing of asunder of a joint and marrow and, and, and spirit and soul and, and help us to grow and separate uh, our evil thoughts and those things that will try to, to even linger and even, even new thoughts, God, that are not from you. Help us keep them in subjection. Allow your power to override us and overrule us so that we, God, can be pleasing in your sight. God, we pray for every family mission. We pray, oh God, for every name called, for Trustee Bobby Jeffries, for uh, Trustee Dillard, God, for Deaconess Brown, for the Barrow family, for God, the Poston family, for each and every one, for uh, uh, my friend, oh God, uh, Miss, uh, uh, Miss Huey. God, bless all of them. God, they're going through some difficult times, but we know you're able. Miss Martha Jean, thank you. God bless my little mother. Again, I thank you for her life, and I pray you give her many more years on this side. No, no, God, she has everlasting life already waiting upon her uh, when you call her home. We thank you. Keep us in your care. Thy strength and thy redeemer. And we pray for a wonderful week. We pray for a wonderful weekend as we celebrate in Gaffney Homecoming Weekend. Go Indians. In the mighty name of Jesus. And also at Dorman High School this week. God, uh, homecoming. Go Cavaliers. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hmm? I love you. Don't ever forget it. Huh? God bless you. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, Thank you, Trina. Trina, God bless you so much for those kind words. I appreciate you. Virgie, how you doing? I love you. Amen. Hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you again at 10, my friend, this Sunday morning, Facebook Live. And if you can make it at 10, we'll see your face in the place. 915 Concord Road. Amen. Trust the Lord. Keep trusting God.